hello everybody welcome back to my channel and today i am coming to you with a small homeschool haul um this is everything that i had to purchase this year so far for my uh kid who is six years old and he is homeschooled so it's not a very big haul it's very little but this is what i had to purchase him this year so let's just jump into it so the first thing that i'm going to show is what i ordered from timu now I know Timu is a very controversial website. I've never had issues with it, so I order from Timu quite a lot. But I know some people don't really trust it, and that's fine. You know, that's your personal opinion. But I've never had issues. So, so the first thing that I purchased was a lunchbox, and so it's just like a plastic lunchbox. It does come with a lid, and so it's like. A sandwich size here and then like two sides so it's a pretty big um pretty big uh, container here yep so that's what I got him there and I'll kind of explain you know why I had to purchase this stuff another thing that I ordered was another uh, container for his lunch box um, now this was actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was thinking it was going to be like half the size. You know, I was thinking it was more for like ketchup on one side and ranch or, you know, ketchup mustard, you know, just like a small container. At least that's what it looked like in the picture. So then when this arrived, I was um, pretty surprised at how big this was. This is probably more of like adding like some grapes on one side, some oranges, you know, more of like a little fruit um tray thing is what i would probably use this for so i got that and i think i paid like a dollar 30 i think i want to say for this and then i can't remember how much i purchased this for I will um, post it somewhere in this video once i find it and i will also have links to these if they're still available the next thing that I ordered was I needed an electric pencil sharpener. Uh, I've gone this long without having an electric pencil sharpener. So I just use like the man manual ones. And I mean, it's those are just horrible. They are constantly breaking the tip. Like it's, I, I don't like them. So I finally decided to just buy an electric pencil sharpener and see if that works better. Um, I did look on like Walmart and Target before I purchased on Timu for these and this was like five dollars and some change as opposed to I think Walmart was probably the cheapest at like fourteen dollars so hopefully this does well um, but I mean it looks like it's pretty good quality it has like an on off button I guess like that's really nice and then it has like a lot uh, unlock and a lock so it must be like a safety feature in case you know a little kid gets it or something like that so that's really nice if it has like safety features I really really like that especially since I have a baby who likes to just grab everything and then the last thing that I got from Timu was this lunch box um, it is insulated so there's the lunch box there. There's nothing on the back. So this is, it does, um, when I first got it, I was like, oh, this is a lot smaller than I was really hoping for. Um, but then when I actually went to put the containers in this, uh, all of the containers actually fit. Like this container actually fits very well in here. Uh, see, like, and I still have room for like his water bottles or more sides or whatever. So I guess it's really not as um, small as I thought it was. So his other, his lunchbox from last year was a Mickey one. And it did have the strap so it could hang. This one doesn't have the strap so it just has the, the carrying handles. Um, but that's okay though. Um, it's not a big deal. But yeah, it does come insulated on the inside and I think this was like three dollars um, and some change like right around there so those are the four things that I got from Timu now the stuff that I got from Timu you're probably wondering like okay you homeschool your kids like 
why does your kid need a lunchbox for homeschooling? I do have my kid registered in a co-op. So if you don't know what co-op is, it's basically a bunch of homeschooling mom that get together and then they like teach classes. Uh, so that is like an all day thing. So they do have lunch um, at the location that we have the school. So he does have to pack a lunch. So that is why we had to get him a lunch box and some containers for lunch and stuff like that. So, okay. And the next thing is his Good and the Beautiful. Um, this is what I use for his curriculum. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what everything was that I had to purchase for him this year. So let's cut this open. This box is so dirty. Like, I don't know what was going on in the truck that brought it. But I mean, it is just like so dirty. Like my pants are like filled with dust right now okay okay so the first thing that's right on top is um math the math box so basically what these are is it comes with everything that you're going to need to use the math book for. So it looks like we're probably going to be working more on telling time with this workbook. And then we've got, you know, money. And then we've got some game pieces. So there must be some games that we're probably going to play in the workbook. And then it looks like there's some more like mini clocks. So it looks like a lot of it is going to be um, money and telling time. And then it looks like we've got some shapes here. So, so that is the box. So a lot of the time you do need to get, it does come together. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was like a bundle package. It comes with the box and then the workbook. So why don't we go ahead and pull out the workbook so we can see. scissors lessons it is it looks like it is 118 lessons and then 119 and 120 are the is the testing so okay so it looks like we're reviewing addition here got some addition reviews okay and then it looks like we're going to get into greater than and less than or equal to that's not something that we did last semester looks like we're reviewing more of money we started money but we haven't gotten all the way into money so it looks like some of this is a lot of review and then more subtraction we also did start subtraction as kindergartner so that will be review um so we got some let's see okay so it looks like now we're getting into like addition and subtraction but we're getting into um bigger numbers so right now we're just working with like single digits you know like one plus two or one minus two you know four plus three five minus two like so we're getting into just the single digits but now it looks like we're going to be um going into double digits now so that will be fun okay so and then okay here's some more review of K 
kindergarten stuff and it looks like okay even and odds we've already started even and odds last semester so yeah so it looks like it's kind of just um adding on to kindergarten stuff which i mean pretty typical um uh, and yeah it looks like place value so yeah that's math one so he is in um math one book right now Okay, and the next thing I picked up was handwriting um, one. Um, he already did the handwriting, the kindergarten one, so he needed to move on to the next one, which is handwriting one. Some people can say, oh, you know, handwriting first grade is really what this means. Um, but when it comes to homeschooling, I don't really like to use grades just because my son, when it comes to math, he's technically in the first grade workbook but when it comes to the language arts portion he's been struggling a little bit so he's still in the kindergarten workbook so that is the reason why I don't really use levels you know when they're like oh what grade is your son in I just say he's homeschooled like and most people are like oh okay like I've never really had somebody be like oh he's homeschooled okay well what, what level is he in homeschool like I've never had anybody ask me that once they hear he's homeschooled they're kind of like oh okay cool so yeah so he's in the next one and it looks like a lot there's some reviews yeah so reviews of like the alphabets and let's see okay and then we start getting into uh words later on into the book um and then it looks like we're working on sentences now here too so yeah, so that is also what I picked up for him for this um, this grade year, this school year. Uh, he's probably going to finish this before the end of the school year. So for those of you that don't know how my school year works is um, I start the new workbooks after Labor Day. And then I actually go all the way until August uh, we have school. Like I, I don't really take breaks for... Uh, homeschool and the reason for that is because there are some I I don't homeschool every every single day Monday through Friday the reason for that is because sometimes I have to take my kids to appointments I have appointments and I have to travel for these appointments I don't live near I live in a very small town so anytime I usually have to travel for appointments I have to travel an hour sometimes even more so by the time you know I get the kids breakfast and then get them changed and then on our way and by the time we get back it's almost time for me to start making supper so that is why I just continue homeschooling throughout the summer because it kind of makes up for the days that were missed so this is definitely not going to last me until um August the end of August so once he's finished with this book I'll probably just go online and print some worksheets that he can just continue um, handwriting skills sorry guys I ran out of storage so I had to get more storage okay so we talked about the handwriting now we're going to talk about language arts so the next language arts um, book that I picked up was language arts and literature so level K and then so it did come with some books looks like it came with um, a set of 20 books so um, I'm gonna assume either I'm gonna be reading this or he's gonna be reading this or a little bit of both I'm not sure it really depends on you know what the workbook asks us to do and then he also did get it looks like there's like some flashcard books and some sight word um, things in here for him to work on. Um, yep, so, you know, sight words and then long vowel, short vowel, TH, ING, sound, things like that. So, and then it does come with a whiteboard. So this is really nice. I, I do have whiteboards already, but it's always really nice to have extra whiteboards. Uh, we used whiteboards quite a lot so this was a whole uh, package bundle here now for those of you that don't know the good and the beautiful is a faith-based uh, curriculum so this you know this might not be for everyone if you're not really into the faith-based curriculum but other than that I've really enjoyed the good and the beautiful so far 
And then last but not least, oh, I left it over here. Okay, so last but not least is because we are um, a faith-based family here, I did order a few things to work on during the school year with him from um, the, daily, daily, the Daily Grace, I think is what it was called, Daily Grace Company. If you've never heard of it, I will link their website down in the description, but it is um, more of like a Bible study type thing. They do have some kids, some kids stuff, so that's what I went ahead and ordered. And I can find. Here it is. Okay, so I'm not gonna go over over everything that I did order from this book. Um, for, sorry, from this company because there are some things in here that are not for homeschool, and that will be in a separate video of what I purchased that is not homeschool. That is for me. So that will come at a later video when it comes to this box. But for now, let's go ahead and take out what I did order for homeschooling um, from this company. Okay, so, yep, okay, so this is the first thing that I bought. It says, um, the life of Jesus kids cards. It says the set includes 20 cards that will help your family celebrate the life of Jesus uh, throughout um, Lent season and beyond. Each card includes a daily scripture reading, a short family devotional, and a reflection question for your children um, in gospel centered conversation. So I thought these would be kind of neat to do with Liam. Uh, as a kind of the starting off uh, the homeschool day we could probably just do like one of these you know there's like who is Jesus you know um, and then we have Jesus big speech so um, and then Jesus makes um, the triumphal entry. Jesus is arrested. So it's just little flashcards that I thought would be great to kind of um, go over with Liam and just kind of teach him a little bit of lessons when it comes to um, God and our faith. Uh, Liam is always asking me questions and so some of these flashcards might be questions that he has. So picked these flashcards up for him and I must, I will say, uh everything i want to say these were like four dollars they they were having a sale i don't know if the sale is still going on by the time this video goes up but they were having a sale uh, like a five dollar and um an under sale so i was able to snatch these for under five dollars and i think if i'm not oh okay there, I guess there was one more. Um, this is called The Daily Truth for Kids. It's scriptures for every circumstance. So again, it kind of goes over a few studies. Um, so it says the topics that are talked about in this book are anger, sharing, jealousy, ungratefulness, disobedience, fear, sadness, unfair, forgiveness, serving, the gospel. Um, so those are just some of the topics that it goes, um, that it talks about. And then it does give you um, Bible verses of like, that are related to the topic. So again, I thought, you know, maybe once we finish the flashcards, we will then go on to this book. Because, um, I mean, these flashcards are definitely not for all year. So I think that is all I picked up for Liam. Um, uh, did I pick this up for Liam? Um, I did pick up some gifts and then I for Christmas. And then I also did pick up like some things for me. So I'm still trying to figure out what I order for me and what was supposed to be for Liam's homeschooling. Okay, looks like uh, all about Jesus, a family devotional. I think if I'm not mistaken, I did pick this up also for Liam. So again, it's a devotional book that I will um, have a talk with him. And just kind of go over the Bible verses and the topics and things like that. This one might be, 
Um, I might hold on to this one and maybe use this one next school year. It does look like it's a little bit more um, advanced for his age. So I don't know, maybe I'll try it out with him and see if he's understanding it. And if not, if I see that he's not really understanding this right now, then I'll just put it away and uh, bring it out for next school year. But yeah, that was the little homeschool haul that I had for this year's uh, homeschooling year. So yeah, if there is any questions you know, regarding homeschooling or if you're a homeschooling mama and you really like a curriculum or you really think that there's something I should have for my child, definitely leave it in the comments. And until next time, thank you.